Hi! This series video is collaboration with two really amazing creators, Bonnie and Clive and Made by Sova. Please check the playlist down below where all the videos from this collaboration are gathered together. And please check out Made by Sova and Bonnie and Clive channels. You can get more inspiration how to turn junk into something usable. This whole series is all about used envelopes, how to recycle them with easy projects for junk journal. Here I have a pile of used um, cut open envelopes and um, they're really fun these ones that are actually colorful so you can actually do a lot of things with it. Um, so I wanted to show you that you don't need really nice looking or uh, clean envelopes to craft. I put some gesso over so I actually um, cover the dresses and all that. And this is another one, really old and beaten up. And um, I had this envelope for uh, quite a while. Um, I think I was collecting some stuff in it. And then something like this that you can actually get in the mail. Um, these are promotional um, envelopes and I just store that up and uh, I have two pieces and inside is always like blank or really nice patterns so you have a lot of things to work with. I'm just gonna start making what I wanted to do for this series today. So either you can use an envelope or you can use a book page if you wanted to. Um, I didn't decide yet what I wanted to do but I think I wanted to do two different ones, one with a book page and one totally with envelopes so let's start with doing it um, firstly with a book page um, since this book pages are really thin like-ish I usually use two together glued um, so I'm just going to glue two pages together I'm trying to focus on the text only because I am going to cut around where there is no text uh, you don't need to, but I just feel it looks way um, nicer for some reason uh, to have only text showing. So, pretty, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a really quick video. Okay, so this is one, and the other one I was thinking maybe I could just use... Um, let me see... I think I want to use one of the papers from that um, commercial um, thingy envelope and I'm just going to fold it together like this and uh, going to glue it like you don't need to be exact with the glue because uh, you can stitch it around if you wanted to at the end um, but I'm just showing like really simple stuff right now and you can go wild after I'm going to cut the top and I'm going to cut this one as well so okay I have two things I'm feeling like I'm gonna do both of them together because um, you can see which one you prefer better um, let me do this. I'm gonna fold them like so. And I'm going to have the text, um, more text on the front. And this one, I'm going to just fold which way, which way. Doesn't really matter. So let's just do it like this. This is totally, totally great. The base is going to be envelope and Everything inside is going to be from the envelope, so so now what I'm going to do is, um, let me see, are these the same? Yeah, these are pretty similar size, which is good. For embellishing the front, I was thinking I could take one of the envelopes um, and open it up. You don't need to be neat, but you can if you wanted to go really slow. Open it up. You can use the front, uh, the front or the back, up to you. And I would use some of the acrylics to make some really nice painty papers. 
So in this case, I would go with this side because it's, you know, I wanted to cover it. And I would make something like this. And I use some of the acrylics to make some interesting painted papers. So you can use that as your front page. Or you can use envelopes like these that are actually glued together and stamp on them and use some acrylics or just go crazy with whatever you feel like. You can use stencils as well. So whatever you have, it's going to be good enough to make a pattern on the envelope. So I think I'm going to go with this one because it's already really nice looking. And I'm thinking I wanted to cut it down or maybe I could tear it. I think I'm gonna just cut it down to a size and then go with that. I kind of want to have this leaf inside but um, can I do it? Who knows? I usually don't like to waste but I do have smaller books where I made the, where I made this before um, somewhere here probably not gonna see those marks am I probably not let's just cut it first <laughs> I really want to use as much as possible from one paper and uh, I usually don't do this because I don't know how to explain it. I like the whole paper, I like this side and I don't want to lose it and just uh, throw it away. So I try not to cut the center um, of the paper like this usually. Uh, where is my other mark? I think it's here. But probably not. Not sure yet. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of here. And I want to go up to, let's say, here. So I have a lot of scraps, but um, I'm going to figure something out to do with those. So my leaf can go here. I'm going to use watercolors to edge all of the edges of these projects. So if you can get hands on really um, old used sets or uh, these are just probably is as old as I am or even more, I don't know. But um, yeah, these are really old uh, watercolors. And if you can get at least something like that, that it's pretty cheap, you're good for life because, you know, it takes a long while to actually use that up. Okay, I'm just going to add everything because it pops and looks really nice. So let's see how this is going to go. And I'm using, this is a makeup sponge. And I'm probably am using it for forever now. For at least two years, maybe. Um, but if it gets really dirty, I just um, wash it under the water and it's clean again. I mean... The stains are going to be there, but it's clean. It's not going to make mud with your colors. I really like that. And you can make a pocket above. Like you would just glue U-shape and glue it down and you would have a pocket. But since this paper is glued a bunch of pieces together, I'm just going to go with it and glue it down as a one um, as an embellishment. And that's going to be it. But you have options, so you can do that if you wanted to. And these are so thin for your junk journals that it's really awesome. I love that. Okay, so I have this. I'm just going to glue it on with my PVA white glue that I keep in this bottle. So I'm going to do the same on this one. And you can use any color. You don't need to use black. I'm just... Most of the times I'm using black. And uh, 
because I don't need to think what will go with the main focal picture. So I'm just like, uh, let's do black. Here is really thin on the on the edge, but um, maybe I can cut it off. This is the torn edge, so maybe I can cut a little bit off. So it's more sturdy. Yep. Maybe I could use this one here. Hmm, do I have something else? I feel like I want to use these scraps. I can use it. Oh, look. That's that's like it, it's been made to be here. Not sure if that's straight. Yeah, it looks like straight. So, I feel... Um, I just want to use this. It's so cute. Um, but I don't know if I should use this part or that part. Decisions. Ooh, I like that too. And you can probably see here the paper is a little bit torn. But, um, really, it, it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to go with this. Like so. Just trying to eyeball it, I think, somewhere here. And this cutter is amazing. You know, um, you don't need to measure anything. You don't need to use any other stuff. You just have that. Um, and that's something that I really, really, really love. And I'm really happy that I got it, uh, what, two years ago? Everything is two years now. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think it's like two years or two and a half years, I don't know. And I could actually use that and edge even that. Hmm, how would that look like? But I can't edge that. Okay, I'm just going to use the glue. And... Glue that down. Like so. Okay, I think I, I want it to be like this, right? Yeah, probably. So inside, this one is empty. It doesn't have any text or anything. So I was thinking maybe I could just... Um, I think I'm going to come back to this one. But this one, since you can't write inside because this is meant to be written in, you can use your envelopes, like envelopes like this, even though it's really <laughs> torn. But I'm going to take this piece off really like this part and I feel like I want to use that like so just want to make a square out of it so it's easier to work and now I will figure out Ooh, that could look nice as a border. This is that sticky tape of uh, of the envelope. And I don't mind. It's empty enough for you to write on. And some more like here. And then if that's some more like there, I need another one that it's some more like here. So, let's cut this off. Them. I would like to have another one like here. Hmm. What about now? Okay. I will take this and just. Whoop. I'm going to take this as a template and I'm going to make another one. Yep. I'm out of frame. I always love to work on the edge of the table. For some reason, it's really hard to work in the middle of the table. Why? I don't know. Would really like to know that. This is kind of straight. I think I'm going to take a little bit off here. Just because I can. 
Okay, so this here and this here. I had a really big bag that uh, a lot of the envelopes and the letter writings were in. And it's about half of it that I still have to use up. Um, the bag is up here, so I can look at it while talking to you. Um, I'm going to use this piece for gluing. Don't judge! So I'm going to use the glue on the other side and just check it down. I make a lot of bases and then I go to town making a lot, a lot of, uh, papers like these and then I'm just edging all of the papers and then I'm just putting them together and that's it and they're done and um, really easy and you can get some stickers even used up if you have some random ones um, bits and bobs it doesn't really need to be professional made and used a lot of time to make it so just go with it just go with what you have. Um, let me press it down really good. I use my flat surface of a uh, glue stick, so I don't need to use my fingers. Um, they have a lot of ink on them. So that's it. On the back, I usually put some stenciling um, just to cover it up. Maybe we should do that. This is one of the newer stencils I got. And I'm going to use the brush, the makeup brush and my watercolors. Probably you can't see. Um, let's go with um, thinking red. Can we go with the red? I'm not sure what's already on my brush. Probably a black or something. Okay, I'm going to make something like this. And just go over lightly. No pressing, no pressing, no pressing. Because if I press too hard, um, I might have too much water in my brush. In my brush. Just moved it. Oh, but I love this stencil. Can you see it? Hopefully you can. I'm going to weight these books, one on top of the another, and just push them under, I don't know, few books. So they're going to really stay um, closed. Not like this. So maybe I could, oh, <laughs> and another one here, maybe. I don't know. I really love these flowers. Oh, love it. And this is uh, one finished. And let's finish this one. Maybe I could do the same. Just use my stencil all over it. I decided I need more than just two pages in this one. I need them. Uh, so I am going to um, take some envelopes. This is one of the envelopes. And I am going to just... Uh, let me see. Do I have a... I'm going to open it. And I am going to make some pages out of... The envelope. Let's make some pages. Let me see how wide are you? Um, oh, I know it's messy here, but I will cut this flap off and then if I'm inside and if I'm like somewhere here and then I want to be someone up here. And someone down here. Okay. This is going to be one page. One and only. But I think I want like two different pages inside. And all of the bits that are um, torn and uh, 
the paper is not really smooth like here. I don't mind. I just go with it. I use what I have and uh, try to make the best out of it. And even the torn edges, I don't mind at all. But let me see if it's fitting. Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna make another one. I'm going to take a clip and try to get to this and now I feel like I want to do something like this. I have two pages, right? Okay. And I'm going to center them and put them inside and then it's the quick part of just um, stitching it together like this okay i have this thicker thread for um sewing machine so i'm just going to use this um because you don't need much and you can use any thread really you can double it up if you have a feeling that it's not going to hold regular sewing thread supposed to be fine here without any problem okay i'm just going to go make three holes randomly with my needle like this and up here like this and I'm going to start in the middle and go through and make a three stitch thingy Okay, and that's it. They're finished. Um, you can put something on it if you wanted to, just to make it a little bit more uh, interesting. Like this. And maybe somewhere up here. These are just, you know, not necessary in your journal small journal okay so let me cut these threads off and then it's 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 done two ways how to actually make these one with just glued inside pages so you have one small booklet you can write small things in or just one that it's having um, more pages inside from the other envelopes so here you have two little booklets for your junk journal, one made totally out of envelopes and the other one 50% made out of envelopes. <laughs> Hope you liked it and you're going to try to use more of your used envelopes. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next part.